I just realized that I turned on this clip immediately after I peed and you can hear the toilet going. <laughs> Sorry about that. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning on the day I am filming this and I was actually getting ready to put on my mascara and I thought that we would try it together because I've seen a lot of people talking about this. I first saw it, I think on TikTok, like before I deleted it and then I saved it and then I think I saw it on Instagram and I saw a couple people recommend it and this is the Milani Highly Rated Lash Extensions Tubing Mascara and I've seen a ton of tubing mascaras that are essentially like a different formula. So like the brush kind of looks the same as like a lot of the other mascaras that I use but apparently the formula is different so like when you get your lashes wet it just like comes off so maybe we'll test that out at the end of the day but um, I'm actually getting ready right now because I'm gonna meet up with Karina I haven't seen her since before Christmas I think I'm like making the rounds of seeing everybody that I haven't seen since before the holidays so we're gonna grab some coffee and just catch up I'm trying this mascara for the first time so far so good I haven't been really keeping up with using my lash serum and I need to do that because it like makes such a difference in my lashes. First thing I'm noticing, I mean, this always happens the first time you use a mascara, but the formula is very wet. Like it feels like it's kind of going everywhere and it's not really like grabbing onto these outer lashes that much. Okay, let's let that be for the first coat but anyways um what else are we doing today i did my workout this morning you know my usual morning routine that has made such a difference i you know spoiler i've been doing my 30 days of movement exercise joyful movement whatever you want to call it on my main channel and i'm almost done with the 30 days it's crazy i think the day you guys see this will be the day that i'm done which is wild i have so many thoughts about it it's like I feel like it's changed my life, so we will definitely get into that on the main channel. That'll be up really soon. Oh yeah, see? It's like smearing under my eyes. That always happens when I use mascara for the first time though. And yeah, I've been trying, I, I mentioned this in the last vlog, but I've been trying to get more into getting back into drugstore products because I just like all of a sudden blinked. And one day I was surrounded by like all these expensive things that I probably was influenced to buy that are really good products, but that are just like unnecessary spending. So I'm gonna work on that this year. That is gonna be a huge goal. I actually, um, I don't know if I should say this in case my hairstylist sees this, but for the last probably six months, I've actually been using Pantene Pro-V on my hair. Like I switched back to Pantene because I was getting so tired of spending like $70 on a bottle of shampoo. If you are a hairstylist, maybe don't watch this next part. But I just, I do feel like for me anyway, the way that my hair health is, I don't know, the way that my hair responds to products, my hair doesn't look or feel or seem any better when I use high-end products than when I use Pantene. And actually... Ooh, I'm really gonna I'm really gonna stir the pot first thing on a Monday morning. I actually feel like a lot of high-end hair care made my hair feel worse Dare I say it I mean this listen, I'm just speaking for my own journey I still use k18 and I still use nice moisturizing products and stuff but for my shampoo and conditioner I do use Pantene. I even have refills under here. I use the volume and body shampoo and the daily moisture conditioner don't come for me, okay? I was just like, I don't know, I used to be such a like budget queen and I used to do such a good job at finding drugstore products and still looking cute and I feel like I kind of lost that over time. Oh wow, this comes off really easily. That's so cool. Yeah, we're gonna have to test how this works later tonight. Should I put it on my lower lashes to see how it does with that? No, I don't have time. I do need to leave the house here in about five minutes. Um, we're gonna get dressed. Oh, I need to put on my lipstick. But yeah, I just need to get back into like finding more fun affordable drugstore stuff because that's just my bag that's my vibe that's like how I've always been and I'm tired of spending all this money on this expensive stuff so anyways okay let's finish getting dressed oh and put on my lipstick all right sorry if you can hear Bob's burgers in the background you shouldn't be able to but you might be able to see it Drew's getting a headache so he's just gonna take a rest but um okay this is the base of my outfit for today we have my old navy skirt because I'm obsessed with it and it has shorts and weirdly it's like kind of chilly right now but it's supposed to be like almost 80 degrees today in LA and I'm like excuse me what is happening and then I just have like a basic white tee on underneath and I have these black boots because I haven't really gotten to wear them a lot and I think they'll look cute with like the vibe that I'm going for for this outfit so these are from Journey Collection they do have you know, 
snug. I really do love the Vince Camuto brand for wide calf boots and like the extra wide calf, but they're kind of pricey. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so we've got this. And then I thought I would throw on this jacket, which is from the Goodwill bins actually. I think Karina originally found this actually, now that I think about it. I thought it would just be a cute little, cute little touch. Good morning to you too. Okay, I'm gonna try not to mess up my hair. Oh no. We did it. I think I might even like zip it up. Oh, okay, sleigh. Do I sort of tuck it under a little bit? Like that's kind of cute, dare I say. Just a daily reminder to wear whatever makes you happy. Even if other people don't like it or they don't get it, just wear whatever makes you happy. Now I'm gonna do these glasses. These are actually fake. And I think they're really cute. They're like a blue light glasses, but now that I'm thinking about it, they're kind of like hard to see out of. And I have real glasses that are sort of similar. They're not exactly the same style, but I mean, they are very similar. I do prefer like the square shape or the kind of more like, I don't know, rectangly shape of these than just the oval like aviator style, but I do need some glasses. So I guess this is what we'll go with. So I guess we'll go with these. So that is the fit. Let me show you in the mirror. I just thought of this this morning when I woke up and I thought, why not? This is a weird time of day lighting wise in here, but here is the finished look. Is my mirror like really dirty? I think it is. Oh yeah. It's filthy. Okay, cool. We'll clean that later. But here it is. Got my, you know, probably $2 or less jacket, my favorite old navy skirt, and my cute little boots. So let's hit the road. I do, of course, have my Aeros tour bag because that is a massive flex. I have a little snack for later if I need it. I brought a perfect bar. These are so good at keeping you full. And it has 15 grams of protein, so I love those. Kind of tastes like peanut butter cookie dough. And then I brought a Hint watermelon water with me. I also have a pair of headphones and slides in there because I might get my nails done later, like on my way home while I'm out. But anyways, I gotta stop blabbing and hit the road. So let's get in the car. We're driving over to Frogtown today, which is like a really cool neighborhood in LA. And Karina knows about this coffee shop that I haven't heard of before. And we're gonna go check it out together. So let's go have a girl's day. Everybody! Oh, that's, that's Did you miss her? <laughs> <laughs> this place is so cute, and we've been sitting here trying to just have like a lovely chat, a nice heart to heart, a catch up. And this construction, it's this busy. is the mildest it's been yet, actually. Like, it has been so low. They were full on jackhammering the ground as we're just having this conversation. It's like, uh, 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 the ground is like shaking. <laughs> It is what it is. This is part of it. But it's LA. Yeah. Exactly. It is, wait, is it worse than out the construction you're doing outside your home? <laughs> Honestly, it's about the same. <laughs> so it's fine. That's always so funny too. When I'm like filming main channel videos and I use the tiny mic, I'm like, the construction's really bad. And people are like, girl, we can't even hear it. And I'm like, because no, I'm can't. using the tiny oh. mic. It's not, I wouldn't say it's probably this bad. Yeah. But it's definitely, it's definitely getting They're down. always building. But anyways, we're having a girl's day. Love it. so hot outside like it feels like summer right now it's wild um i'm actually parked right in front of or behind the la river i don't know if you can see it there's like people just walking by running like it is such beautiful weather everyone is outside enjoying it it's so nice it kind of feels like spring or summer but it's january like i actually have a little a little bit of sweat on my upper lip that's wild but yeah we had a great time it's always lovely to catch up with karina we hadn't seen each other since before christmas so we're gonna be planning a lot of really fun thrifting content coming up I mean, maybe do some disney stuff and now it is about one o'clock i have my nails at two i made an appointment to get my nails done because these these dentine ice nails 
have got to go. <laughs> if you missed it, when I talked about it on Instagram, basically I got talked into doing like a square shape and then I kind of like hated it, but I tried to say, oh, could we like round the corners a little bit? And then she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she never did. And then it was just kind of, it was one of those things, you know? Speaking up at the nail salon is very hard to do. But yeah, so I'm gonna get like my nice, you know, monthly mani-pedi, enjoy it, treat myself. And then we'll see what we get up to the rest of the day. I do have a couple work things to do later. Um, but today has kind of been like a chill day and I've really, really enjoyed it <laughs> because I worked a lot this weekend. I wasn't supposed to, but I did end up working a lot this weekend and someone is uh, gunning for my parking spot. So I actually need to go. So I'm not making them wait. So yeah, I had the best time with Karina, lovely as always. And we are gonna go get these nails done and then catch up in a little bit. Right, just got uh, out of my nail appointment and it was great. I'm feeling pampered, I'm feeling refreshed. I took off my earrings because I had my AirPods in, but um, I have just been working out like so hard lately that it felt really nice to have someone just rub on my feet and my arms, it felt quite nice. So anyway, I'm gonna head home, relax, cook some dinner, probably watch The Traders on Peacock, which Drew and I have been like obsessed with. We are watching the UK version. I had seen so many of my friends in the UK as well as just like people I follow talking about the show. And I think we're officially hooked. We're like probably halfway through the season. I do think it got a little bit overhyped, but it's getting better as we go along. So I think it's like only bound to get even better, you know? Everyone was like, oh my God, it's the best show ever. So I was like, I had really high expectations, but now it's like, it's getting really, really good. And then we're gonna watch Love Island, of course. We have two to watch actually, cause we four fitted ours last night we were like let's have two to watch tomorrow so now we have two to watch tonight we have the traders busy night for us go into my hair <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. No. Uh, I'll cut it. I won't show it. I won't show it. I won't show it. Look like a fucking comb over. <laughs> I'm blurring out. Okay, Drew is, um, he's part of the audience because he wants to see what's up with this tubing mascara. I was like just about to go to bed and wash my face and all that kind of stuff. And then I was like, oh wait, I gotta show this mascara. So I mean, it's held up well throughout the day, but supposedly if you like wet your fingers. It's just water? No, it's like it comes off in like chunks instead no, like of it doesn't know so. i guess well, let's find out it's coming off no it's definitely smearing it's smearing a lot <laughs> wait what's happening am i doing it wrong oh see there it goes you have to pull it off yeah you have to pull it you can't rub it look at all that <gasps> Is it easier to get off? I don't know. I usually use a makeup remover, but I saw someone do it on TikTok and I was curious. Whoa, okay. That's crazy. Okay, don't rub it into your eyes like me. I thought you could just do whatever. But like, I think it's better for like, if you sweat or cry, you can just, I don't know, the chunks come off instead of. If I did this to my mascara, like my normal mascara, it would just be like smudged in between my fingers. But like, look at this in the water. But that's wild. Dang. You okay. Tubes. I got tubes. Anyway, I'm gonna wash my face and go to bed now. Good night. Hello, it is actually a few days later. I am just getting ready to make myself like a little mid-morning snack, kind of late breakfast. Hello, am I in heaven? And I thought that I would share it because I actually saw this on TikTok back when I still had TikTok. That is one thing that I miss is like the recipe ideas, but I saw this probably back in like November or something like that. And I kind of had always thought about it and then I tried it, I don't know, a few weeks ago and I've become obsessed. I love it so much and it's feta eggs. Oh my god, it's so good. Let me set you down on this tripod here. Also, if you can hear the rain in the background, it is like the coziest, rainiest day ever, and it's making me so happy. And I'm like, do I need to live somewhere where it rains? Because like, it's just making me so happy. But I also love my sunshine too. You know, yesterday I took a walk and it was literally like 75 degrees and sunny and beautiful. And now it's like cold and rainy and I kind of love that. Also, yes, I am wearing the same sweatshirt that I've been wearing all week. I don't even remember if I've shown it in the vlog. I've been wearing this probably all week long actually and the same sweatpants. And it's also like maybe three sizes too big and it's comfortable, okay? So, okay, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some feta. I tried this for the first time with like better feta. We had gone to Bristol Farms, which is like a fancy schmancy grocery store. And they had like, there were all different kinds of feta and that one was good. This will be fine. This is really all I have left. You're gonna need a tortilla and you're gonna need 
some eggs. So I believe I used two eggs for this. And um, it's important to get your eggs ready to go beforehand because I have made that mistake. And I'm like, oh my God, this feta is like sizzling on the pan and I need help. So we're gonna crack our two eggs in here and beat them up. These are our farmer's market eggs that we're trying to get through. So two of those eggs, hold on, now I have to wash my hands. You can also do fried eggs for this. I think a lot of people do end up doing that. Basically the, the point is that you put the feta on the pan, let it get kind of like crispy or melty or whatever, and then you crack your eggs or pour your eggs on top of it. And then you put a tortilla on top of that and then you drizzle it with honey. Oh yeah, that's another ingredient you're gonna need is honey. Sorry about that. Anyways, you can use whatever kind of eggs work best for you. I'm just not really a fried egg kind of gal. It kind of skews me out a little bit. So I'm gonna do scrambled. I'm gonna do like a tiny bit of salt and pepper because the feta is already really salty. So we got our eggs mixed up. Next, we're gonna heat up our pan. Something is happening with this lighting. I don't know what it is. And then in your pan, you will put your feta. I'm gonna do whatever's left in here. There's really not that much, but just use however much you like. So, I mean, you would ideally have a little more than that and bigger clumps, but there you go. So we're gonna like let that cook a little bit and then pour the eggs on top of it. All right, so you can see it's like starting to bubble a little bit. I guess depending on how crispy you want it, you can let it cook for a bit. I can see it's like starting to brown a little bit. I'm just gonna let it go a little bit further. I would normally do more cheese than that. Actually, you know what, I think that's good. So then we pour our eggs on top and then I'm gonna actually throw a little bit on there as well, just to let it cook a little bit. Okay, then you're gonna take your tortilla. I've been using these almond flour siete tortillas. I think the person I saw on TikTok used these, so that's why I got them. So you just like lay that flat on the top. And then I will eventually flip this. Some people just like cover it and cook it like that, but I like the tortilla to have just like a little bit of crunch. So I'm gonna flip that in a minute. So I'm a little bit scared, but I'm gonna be brave. Okay, you know what? I've seen better, but I've seen worse. Okay, then when you feel like your tortilla is crispy enough, mine actually might be a little bit overdone, but that's okay. You put it on your plate, and then I'm gonna fold it over in half. However, the most important step is that you drizzle it with honey. It's like something about the saltiness and like the sharpness of the feta mixed with the honey. I do kind of a lot because it's just really good. And then it kind of like melts and it's delicious. So I don't know what that was, like a teaspoon of honey probably. And then you just fold it over. Ah, I think I'm gonna have like a kiwi on the side with it. Hello, how cute is that? <laughs> That's the cutest. I'm sorry, but this is just so beautiful. Like, how cute. Okay, let's take a bite. I haven't had this yet with this type of feta, so we'll see. I put a lot of honey, so fingers crossed. Cheers. It's so good. Mm. It's like sweet honey, like salty feta, eggs, which I'm whatever about eggs, and then like a little bit of a crisp from the tortilla. But like, look at that. It's so good. Drew tried it, but he didn't like it. But I'm definitely like a sweet and salty kind of gal. The only thing is I think I overcooked these eggs because they taste like very eggy. Delish. Hello, it is a few hours later. I'm on the couch. I actually need to edit this vlog and I realized I never finished it and my camera is back there and I simply don't want to go grab it. So we're just going to end this on my phone, but I'm in my comfy spot. I spent many hours at the desk and now it is time to chill. So I'm going to end this here. Just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this cozy rainy day and I will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye. Thank you.